Let's now explore this floor problem from the AMC 10. How many distinct values satisfy floor of x squared minus 3x plus 2 is 0? For floor of x, is the largest integer less than or equal to x? Hmm. So the best way to do this problem is just do casework on the values of floor of x. So the first thing to notice, can floor of x be negative? Let's say floor of x was negative 1, right? Or really, let's just say, you know what, forget about floor. Let's say floor of, let's say x was negative. If x was negative, then this thingy is always positive. But then this thing is now also positive because x is negative, and 2 is of course positive. How can something positive equal something 0? So x cannot be negative. It has to be positive. And of course, 0 also doesn't work. So now the easiest way to go from here is just to case work on the value of floor of x. So floor of x can be 0. So what happens if floor of x is 0? We must have 0 minus 3x plus 2 is 0. So therefore, x is 2 thirds. And that does work, because that does satisfy floor of x is 0. So that's one solution. Now, what if floor of x is 1? Now, we would have 1 minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. And we can solve here. We get 3 equals 3x. So x is indeed 1. And that also clearly satisfies floor of x is 1. And then for 2, it's very similar, right? The reason this works, the reason it's just integer is because if you look at this quadratic, like in, in, ignoring the floors, we get the roots are two and one. So, and notice that there's no other possibilities, right? Because if x is like even 1.5, then this equation is not true. And then here we have four minus three x plus two is zero. So therefore x has to be two. And that is another solution. And finally, or not finally, but if floor of x is three, now we have nine minus three x plus two is zero. To solve, we get 11 is three x, x is 11 thirds, which does satisfy floor of x is 3. And what about floor of x is 4? Now we have 4 squared, 16 minus 3x plus 2 is 0. So we get x equals 6. Hmm. But this doesn't work because x equals 6 doesn't satisfy this equation. And if we go one step further, let's say we go floor of x equals 5, right? We would, we would get something similar we would get 27 equals 3x, and that clearly is not at floor of x equals 5. So in fact, nothing else works. The reason is because when floor of x is too big, this term completely overpowers everything else, right? It completely overpowers this 3x term. So it's just going to be way positive. Therefore, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 solutions, and our answer is just 4. Another quite misplaced problem, in my opinion. This wasn't really that hard if you just consider the cases over here. Hope you enjoyed.